fuck you, Rush Limbaugh, for consistently putting out racist and sexist commentary and playing it off like it's political punditry. We know it's not, you know it's not, but for whatever reason, a lot of Americans are really into what you have to say, and according to this week's New York Times Magazine, you have a lot of fans. You don't just have a lot of fans, even the people that don't like you are your fans. And I'm here to say, you know what, fuck you, I'm not your fan, I actually don't think what you say is ironic or interesting or really contributing that much to political dialogue. If anything, every time you say something racist or sexist, it offends or hurts or um, you know, poorly impacts a community that I am working to make better, that a lot of people are working to make better. And the scary thing is that Premier Radio Networks is going to give you another 500000 or 400, 400 million, lots and lots of money, $400 million to continue, um, you know, for you to be able to continue saying what you say. And, um, you know, that's really scary because for those of us that work in media, we know that, that those that control the media actually shape the culture around us. So people actually listen to you and they actually, you know, vote based on what you have to say, which is, which is scary, but it happens. And uh, so I think it's really, you know, a responsibility on your part to start saying some responsible and accurate things about the communities that you're trying so hard to indict. Um, you know, specifically prior to the whole Magic Negro fiasco, let's think about what you said about feminists back in uh, 2005. You said that feminism was established to allow ugly women into the mainstream. Uh, beyond the fact that we haven't really gotten into the mainstream, um, you know, do I, do I, do I look ugly to you? Do, do I, cause I can get ugly. I will get ugly rush if you don't shut the fuck up. So, you know, on behalf of feminists everywhere, if you could just stop saying really stupid racist and sexist things and, you know, I don't know, go back to other hobbies that you have <laughs> that you like to engage in and, you know, just leave us alone so that we can do the work that we need to do and maybe, you know, apologize. You don't even have to apologize. Just shut up and I'll shut up if you shut up. Okay? Alright, bye.